everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna be transferring our lionfish to the 6,000 gallon saltwater pond. These guys are getting absolutely massive, so what we're gonna do is get some dip nets, dip net them out of there, and then make their way to the 6,000 gallon pond. And get this bucket filled up, and once it's filled, we gotta start trying to catch these guys. And if you don't know, these lionfish are very venomous. If you get stung by them, you will be going to the hospital. So that's the goal today is to not get stung by a lionfish. We don't want anyone taking a trip to the hospital here. So um, we gotta be very careful when we do this. It should be set. Here we go. They're pretty slow moving fish, so it shouldn't be too hard. But these are big boys. Gotta tire him out a bit. Oh, he's quick, bro. Wow. Oh! Dude! Did you see that? He skimmed my hand with his fins. Not the spines, but like the little flappy part, bro. Oh my gosh. He's trying to go back there. We have to take the top off the tank. These guys are uh, pretty smart lionfish. Usually, they are not this hard to catch. And boom, he just went under there. Yep, we're taking the top off. Should make it a bit easier. There he's, he came back out. Oh, he's back out. We're gonna take out all the rock on this side of the tank. I think that will make it a lot easier. So once we get all the rock out, pick the camera back up, try to net these guys. Okay. Got some of the rock out, and they're right here somewhere. Got him. I think it's more scary than anything. That's why it's a lot harder. You don't want to get too close. Take any chances. Those are huge lionfish, dude. Wow. Okay, number two. Let's see if we can get him. There he is. Got him. Got him. Let's go. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. These were some of the hardest fish I've ever netted in an aquarium before. But we got him. Boom. They're in the bucket. Real quick, check out the colors on these guys with the light on them. Such a cool looking fish. And pretty disappointing that we're moving them out of the 200 gallon because they looked so dope in here. But gives us uh, more room for more fish and possibly some more lionfish. So let's get these guys in the pond. The 6,000 gallon pond is looking amazing. We got some new additions going in. A lot of you have been wanting lionfish, and today we're finally adding some. Lionfish overall are just such cool fish. So to finally have some in the new pond, it's gonna be epic. Let's get these guys acclimated and get them in. While these guys are acclimating, let's check out everything in the pond. We got Bumblebee right there looking like a butte. We got Batman right here. We got our new Emperor Angel right there. Blue and yellow cod, how's your mouth feeling, buddy? If you guys don't remember, he ate a puffer fish and then spit it out, but he's looking good. Our puffer fish is somewhere around here. Oh, he's right there, right back by the pipes. I think that's like his little area. I don't. He doesn't like hanging out with the bigger fish as of right now. He is still a little new to the pond, so probably give him a few weeks. It's like every other fish, once they get used to it, they just love interacting with everyone. So I'm sure the same thing will happen with him, but as of right now, he's right back there just hanging out. We got our stingray right there. She's awesome. What are you doing? This guy is so smart, it's insane. But look at her. Oh, right across the window there. It's crazy how the sharks are the biggest things in here, yet they are the best hiders. You throw food in here, all of a sudden they start coming out and you're like, where are these things coming from? Because there's some sharks in here that are pushing almost three feet long. And if you look at the pond right now, 
you don't even see one. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite fish in the saltwater pond is. There's a lot to choose from. Mine personally, Bumblebee Grouper, but I wanna know what yours is. So let me know in the comments down below. These guys are good to go. It's been about 35 minutes. They're looking good. Let's do both at one time. That way they can go together. Oh, oh, oh. There they go. That is so sick. And once they start schooling up and we get more lionfish, there will literally be a school of lionfish throughout the pond. And I think it will look epic. Look at that guy right in the panel there. <laughs> Dude, we got one in the cave, one swimming in the current here. Oh, Stinger is checking her out. Got the Emperor Snapper checking him out. Think about how much room these guys have compared to the aquarium they were just in. They're probably like, thinking they're in the ocean right now. Now that we have some space open in the 200 gallon, I'm thinking we take a trip over to aquarium shop, see what Andy may have, anything cool, possibly bring back and add to the aquarium. Here at Andy's, we're gonna just go tank, tank. There's a lot to see, so. Oh, dude, look at this little fucker. He's sick. Still has the jacks down here. These guys are cool. I think there was four of them last time, but he's now only got three. Such a cool fish. These guys get really, really big and extremely aggressive, but it takes a while for them to get big, so. That right there is a saltwater beta fish. I really want to get one of them, but uh, you guys got to get 10,000 likes on this video. We'll set up a tank for one of them and then come back and get him. Oh, little baby Huma trigger. Now that we have the mini pond, we can definitely get some smaller fish. Right now we're focusing more on the 200 gallon. And we have to keep in mind that there's eels, there's lobsters, there's a lot of predatory fish in there still, so can't get any clownfish or anything really small. Otherwise, they may get eaten, so. Mm, and he doesn't seem to have anything big and predatory right now. Yo, David, how many shrimp do you think are in this aquarium right here? I know exactly how many are in here, but let's see if you guys get it right. Comment down below, get a good look. Comment down below how many you think are in this aquarium. Oh, bro, Andy has a cleaner rest. One cleaner rest left. We may have to get him. That may be the one coming home. I don't see many predatory fish. This guy can actually go with predatory fish. As you saw in the last video, we got a bunch of little cleaner rest. Put him in with our predatory fish and they got along fine. So we'll definitely uh, keep that one in mind, but let's keep looking. Oh, he's cool. What is that, a lemon peel angel fish? It looks like a lemon peel. Look under this rock right here. Look at all the eels. We have snowflake eels, zebra moray. Looks like a white ribbon eel. It's pretty epic. Giant arrow crab down here. What the? Pretty sure those are sea urchins. I am like 90% sure. But they're pretty cool looking. Yo, look right up here. We have a seahorse. Baby seahorse. Those guys are so cool. It's like so majestic looking. We also got some nice blood shrimp down there. Really cool looking. Should we get starfish or the big pond? Just a whole bunch of starfish. And we'd be able to see them from underwater with the panel. Look at these little guys. Clown fish, so cool. All right, so no predatory fish really. So what we're gonna do is grab this cleaner ass. Let me grab the net. Daggy, and we're gonna be doing it ourselves here, so let's see how this goes. Oh, juke me up. He is fast. But we got them. Boom, he's in. Put this back. Pretty sure he just goes like this. Alrighty, we are all set. Uh, once again, Andy being really nice and uh, giving us free fish. So what I'm gonna need you guys to do is go check out Andy's Instagram popping up right here on the screen. Give him a follow, show him some love. He helps us out with these videos a lot, so definitely go check out Aquarium Shop. I also have his info in my description down below. See you guys back at the house.
We are back home. We're gonna get this guy acclimated, get him in this bucket here, and then we'll start dripping him. Give him about 20 minutes, and then he'll be set to go. Should be all set. Let's get her in. If he goes right over to the eel and starts cleaning him, I'm gonna be shocked. But if you don't know, these guys clean parasites off the fish, and we do have some big eels in here, along with our lobsters, grouper, shark. So he'll do the same thing as the other ones did in the big pond, clean off all the fish, make sure they're healthy. And yeah, we now have a cleaner ass in the 200 gallon. Comment down below and let us know what we should name this little guy. Since he's the only cleaner ass in this aquarium, drop a name down below. If you look right back there, Sunshine actually has her mouth open. She's doing that to kind of let the cleaner ass know to help her out, go in there, clean her gills out. But um, as of right now, the cleaner ass is still kind of getting used to the tank. Over time, maybe a couple days, once he gets comfortable, he will start cleaning everything in this tank. And with that being said, that wraps up today's video. We transferred the lionfish into the saltwater pond. We now finally have some predatory lionfish in there. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. You can actually see both of them right there in the window, just hanging out in the big cave. But that wraps up today's video, and we'll see y'all in the next one. See y'all!